welcome to the channel again uh, today we are going to convert an m273 engine uh, which has a hydraulic uh, suspension pump uh, mounted on it we're converting it into just a regular m272 engine we just use just regular uh, power steering pump and a regular reservoir this is going to be mounted on a car that does not run on a hydraulic suspension So first thing first, uh, you'll need, uh, this is a 13 millimeter, just to open this uh, right here for this front plate to come out. Uh, so let's begin. For this pulley to come out we have to take out this uh, hose going to the back so you can open this uh, with a, a 17 millimeter and then we have this right here uh, this is a, a E10 or E11 also you have to pay attention uh, I've already drained my uh, fluid so make sure you have something uh, to catch the fluid if the uh, if your pump is still having some fluid in the system so mine is done so you just remove this uh, this is uh, E11 and once that is done we go ahead and remove our front pulley this pulley right here and you can put in a safe place once that is done uh, this is what's exposed so we have these uh, uh, E12s these are E12s you take them these two and then also when you come to the back right here you can see it well uh, we have this uh, E12 2 which holds into this uh, bracket uh, right here so something to point really quick uh, when we go to the when we go to the other engine, you'll notice something from this engine, guys, that uh, there is no bracket. So we'll have to remove the bracket too from the other one. So once the bracket is out of the way, and then this thing is going to have uh, to just come right over here because this bracket comes with the other one. All right, let's do it. So uh, I always prefer uh, doing this from uh, starting from the rear. So you come right here. You use your uh, E14. Uh, once this is done when you look uh, closely down right here we have a 13 millimeter so you just get a 13 millimeter and then get this out of the way it's still put uh, holding this uh, hydraulic power steering pump so we'll go right ahead and, and take it out so uh, once this is out of the way uh, when you just come right down right here you can see uh, there is a 13 uh, millimeter which is holding uh, the powers this hydraulic power steering pump from the rear so what we do we just go ahead and remove this one so you get your 13 uh, millimeter once it's two stuff is out of the way then uh, we can come to the front we remove uh, these two out of the way so uh, when you come to the front uh, we take out this uh, two, one right here, and then these are uh, E14s. And also make sure, guys, you have something to hold this thing so that it doesn't fall down because these are the only ones remaining holding it up. So you just come right here. It comes out of the way. And make sure you hold this thing, it doesn't fall down. So right here guys you can see this thing is falling down and then there's something important i have to point out you see the thing we open from the back right there sometimes it's so important because it holds uh this thing from falling down so now i can just pull to the front so i just come right ahead and then just pull like this and then this hydraulic uh 
power storing pump just comes out just like that so we can put this onto the side so uh, the next uh, part is to prep uh, this two section because this is the one where the uh, this is the one where the uh, the uh, reservoir is going to be so let me show you from the other engine so uh, this is our reservoir so it's going to be resting just uh, right here and then right down here and then down right inside here so when you come to this engine it's going to be resting uh, right uh, right right here and then right right here and then the last one is going to be just right over here so let's do the prowl let's let's, uh, let's continue with the work all right uh, before we proceed i have to point out something uh there's a hose coming here when the engine is uh in the car you take that one out but the one which i'm talking about which is a bit ahead of it, is this one right inside here so people most uh sometimes find it hard to get it out so what you do you just slide in this thing right here here and then you pry it out so once you slide like that this thing comes out like this and then you just hold it don't let it fall down because once you just slide all the way uh, so this is the guy uh, this gives people a lot of headache when they're putting back the reservoir so it's really uh, easy to put it and it's easy to take out so once it's out of the way we can go right ahead and then get this uh, reservoir out so let's continue so uh, you get something tall like this is a long and then uh, is, uh, is a tatty, uh, is a tox tatty. Once you do, you just put it all the way and then you fill the bowl. Then, once you fill the bowl, then you can get it out. So once these three uh, come out, you just pull this thing forward and then you make sure uh, it separates from right there. And then later on when you're going to install it, uh, we have to get a new seal, just exactly like that which you see right in there. And then you can put it uh, right inside in the other part before uh, you install it. All right, uh, now we're going to take out this uh, arrest, uh, this uh, power steering pump. So this one is easy to take out. You just take this uh, 14 millimeter and then this 14 millimeter right here. And then when you come to the back, I think I pointed earlier on, you just only have to use only one right here. There's nothing which comes on top here like the other, uh, which is in the other engine. So what you do, you just uh, take out this, uh, this is a 14 and then you get it out. So uh, we begin from here. It's really long so you let it fall on the side so that's the only thing holding the back and then you can come to the front and one thing to point if you see you don't have enough space right here you can always uh, take back this uh, belt tensioner so that it gives you enough space but for me I can access here from right here so I proceed this is out of the way so that's out and then the last one is here so there's nothing holding this thing so I'll open it and then I'll be holding it from the side so this thing is out so I take it like that so uh, that's how easy it is to remove the regular uh, power steering pump so uh, let's install it on our uh, on the other engine So guys I'm not going to tighten this thing all the way until I make sure uh, right this here is aligned well uh, down here this one down here
So uh, where we're going to put our housing. So we just clean this thing out. And this is what we're going to use uh, for the uh, last uh, place. So we have to open this uh, eight millimeter out of here. So what's normally here in the old engine is uh, this is uh, is a ground. So uh, the last part is to pull this uh, reservoir. So you just come here, you align it. You align it all the way here, here, and here. You push it in, just like that. And the last part is just lock here, the lock. So uh, you just push it all the way and then make sure it locks like that. It's a bit hard so you make sure you just apply a pressure on it. And then this thing is going to go in like that. So uh, that's how easy it is uh, to convert uh, a hydraulic uh, engine uh, to uh, this uh, power steering regular. All right, I hope you really like this video, guys. Please like and subscribe, and then see you uh, in the next uh, video.